for work hours or have been furloughed. Governor Lulian Guerrero today announced that she has received word that Guam is now eligible for both unemployment programs that are available in the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act, that is the CARES Act, which the president signed last month. Guam is already eligible for the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, but she got word today now that Guam is eligible for the Federal Pandemic Unemployment Compensation Program. This is roughly about $600 a week. So these two programs, the Federal Pandemic Unemployment Compensation and the Pandemic Unemployment Compensation are two programs that we will be uh, benefiting from. This gives us a total of about $960 a week. This is a weekly check that will be given to our unemployed uh, personnel. These are individuals that have been either furloughed, um, removed, or hours are decreased. Uh, I think it's effective March of 22nd. And so those people who apply and are um, approved and qualify will then be getting um, this amount uh, weekly for uh, 13 weeks and then uh, just the PUC for uh, the remainder of the 39 weeks. It's a 39 week employment benefit. The federal pandemic unemployment is a 13 weeks benefit. So simply, if you qualify, you will be able to get $960 for the first 13 weeks then after the 13th week up to 39 weeks, you will be getting the $360 a week. It's a great benefit for our uh, individuals that because of coronavirus lost their jobs. It's a benefit that will bridge these individuals who need assistance in their financial, um, in their financial well-being. Um, uh, until they either get uh, until they get reemployed again, so this is great news. This is something that we've been really fighting for. Uh, we are eligible for it, and um, we will be also giving you details as we go along in into the processes and what you will need to do. It's an application process and we're working to make uh, available online this application. In other news, Menumco retirees, some of whom struggle with medical conditions and disabilities, showed up early to wait in line at Naval Base Guam Commissary, but were told they had to move their vehicles and leave the premises until the commissary opened. One thing about this uh, issue going on is uh, we're only allowed to come on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Then we make it, uh, you know, like a habit that we come early. But due to the fact when we come early and we park at the parking lot, they say that we're not allowed in the area. To begin with, there's no sign stating on the road or somewhere that you cannot be at the commissary premises at this time until 9 or 10. That's what I'm standing for and all that. And we deserve better than this. Retirees are hoping the Admiral will fix the issue. And speaking of lines at 10 o'clock this morning, the governor's new road closure traffic control plan went into effect. The road closures are 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily. They are located near Lucky Supply in Dededo, the former Shen's Furniture in East Agania, Calvary Chapel in Essen, and Shell Station in Barragata. Roads are down to one lane in both directions, causing major traffic delays. Only essential people should be on the road. All cars are being stopped by National Guard members who are asking you where you're heading and providing important information about the COVID crisis. The roadblocks are not legally checkpoints because the governor does not have the authority to cite or penalize people in violation. But the idea here is to make sure that people are staying home and helping stop the spread of COVID on Guam.
As for the latest numbers from the Joint Information Center, the latest update we got was around 9.30 last night. The numbers bumped up by two. There are now 130 confirmed cases of coronavirus on Guam. Once we get the latest numbers from today's tests, we will pass that along on all of our social media platforms. As for the numbers from the USS Theodore Roosevelt, the Navy reporting today that 447 sailors have tested positive, 3,200 have tested negative, and more than 3,100 sailors are now ashore. As for those of you wanting to watch Easter Mass, you can do that by watching our live stream on Facebook as well we will be broadcasting easter mass at 9 30 in the morning on kuam tv 8 and kuam tv 11. from all of us at kuam thanks for please 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 stay home west care pacific islands is committed to serving our island during this global pandemic with programs continuing to operate remotely, providing essential services to our community members, such as the homeless and at-risk homeless veterans. Adria Ramos of WPI spoke with Chris and Sabrina on containing COVID this morning. Here's what she had to say. We have a program called the Supportive Service for Veteran Families, and that is really targeting the veterans who are most vulnerable out there. We work with veterans who are homeless, taking them from a housing crisis to housing stability. And we realize that during this time, these services are probably more needed more than ever. Um, we are able to help them with housing stability by providing temporary financial assistance to cover the cost of emergency shelter, rent and utilities. And more importantly than that, we help them with sustainable options past our services. In addition, the program remains ready to help improve the general health of the homeless veteran families by providing access to nutritious foods and related supplies through an emergency food program. To access any of their urgent services, call 482-9001, 688-5444, or 488-9001. A resolution to suspend certain policies that address graduation requirements, grading, and promotion was unanimously passed by the Education Board. GEB Vice Chair Mark Mendiola says they support Superintendent John Fernandez's decision on the school closure. In a statement, he thanked GDOE employees for their help in providing solutions for this complex way of addressing the education of our students during this COVID pandemic. GDOE had also asked the legislature to amend the law that requires a 75-hour service learning requirement for graduating seniors. Committee on Education Chair Talina Nelson introduced the legislation last week. In addition, Vice Speaker Nelson introduced Bill 339-35 that exempts the minimum requirement of 900 instructional hours for public schools. The board sent a letter to the legislature in support of the waiver. Mindiola says the GEB will meet again should the measures move forward. On Friday at the Guard Readiness Center, the Guam Air National Guard held a change of command ceremony. Colonel Christopher Frenchy Farah took command of the 254th Air Base Group during a historical ceremony officiated by Brigadier General Johnny S. Lazama. While the outgoing commander, Colonel D. Graham Bata, participated via FaceTime as he was adhering to quarantine policies. Less than 10 service members were in the room, social distancing was practiced, and all participants were wearing personal protective equipment. Brigadier General Lizama thanked Colonel Bata for his leadership for the past 16 months, saying, Being commander is not an easy job. It's one of the loneliest jobs, but it's also one of the most rewarding jobs you'll ever have. Thank you for taking care of the men and women of the, Guard Air, of the Guam National Guard. Thank you for being a leader. Stay tuned next on Weekend Edition. We have Boca Bites and Daily Maintenance with Custom Fitness. And still to come, Trend Spotting. Get up to the minute news, plus access to alerts, streaming radio, promotions, and more on your mobile device by downloading the KUAM News mobile app. Available at the App Store now. Hop a day. I'm Bernie Valencia with Matson. Our local Matson team understands that these are very trying times for everyone. Matson's top priority, like yours, is to keep our families safe and healthy and ensure you have what you need. We'd like to give you peace of mind that Matson's service continues unscheduled and uninterrupted. Matson is committed to our weekly service from the United States West Coast to Honolulu into Guam and Saipan. We are working with the Port Authority of Guam and providing the capacity and services our customers need so they can continue to meet your needs. Matson will take all appropriate measures to ensure continuity of service into Guam and Saipan. 
When we work together to take care of our family and neighbors, we will emerge from this as a stronger island community. This public service announcement was brought to you by the Port Authority of Guam, KOAM Communications, and Matson. Ruby Tuesday Guam is still preparing the dishes you love for either curbside carryout or delivery. Call them at 647-7828 or 647-7829 for curbside carryout service with a smile. For delivery, download the free Grab and Grub app and follow the instructions to get Ruby Tuesdays delivered to your door. Stay safe and healthy, Guam. For this week's Boca Bites, Nutrition on Quarantine, Boca Bites owner Jess Rosario offers ways to decrease your caloric intake. Hi day, everybody, it's Jess from the Boca Box and welcome back to Boca Bites on Quarantine. Um, we've been on lockdown for the past three weeks and we've been eating way more than we expected. Um, and so because of that, we feel like we've been gain gaining some weight and we wanted to take measures to kind of get back to normal. Uh, so I have some tips here on ways you can decrease your caloric intake at home. Um, these are some of the things that I do and I would recommend you try to do it at your house. Uh, the first one is to eat more wholesome. Uh, that's basically staying away from a lot of the processed foods, a lot of the canned foods, a lot of the frozen pizzas, um, uh, ordering out and things like that. I know it's very difficult right now because of the crisis that we're in, but if you can find ways to eat a little bit better, more fruits, more vegetables into your, your meals, do that. Uh, the second tip is to snack better. That's a big thing. We're going to be snacking at home, so might as well just snack on things like fruits and veggies, uh, nuts and seeds, um, maybe some crackers and cheese and uh, deli meats, that's way better than snacking on candies and things that are just loaded with sugar. Uh, the next tip is to watch what you're drinking. That's a big one for me because whether it's sugary beverages, whether it's soda and even alcohol, a lot of uh, the drinks that we have are empty calories. Lots of calories with no nutritional value, so watch out for those. Uh, the next thing which I'm trying to do today is intermittent fasting. I'm doing it again and that's basically social This helps me because uh, it helps me to decrease my caloric intake by just skipping breakfast. So I eat just lunch and dinner. Uh, try any one of these and let us know how it works for you guys. And since we're all safely and smartly inside, our friends from Custom Fitness have some helpful workout tips that you can do right at home along with us. It's daily maintenance. This is Ryan Powers from Custom Fitness, licensed physical therapist. Thank you for joining us again uh, for our daily maintenance program. Now, if you've been following the governor's orders, you've been at home, being on your computer more, maybe a little watching a little bit more TV, and maybe even sleeping more. Maybe those one, one or two times that you kind of wake it up, you kind of wake it up with some nice, like a nice stiff neck. I don't know if that's a nice thing, but it's not a really, really good thing. It's really, really painful, especially for movement. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to kind of get rid of that, that cervical or neck pain that, remember, we want to remind you, this is for non-diagnosed, um, um, any type of cervical or neck pain. Now, here we go. Three steps that we want to do. First step that we want to be able to do is we want to decrease tension. So everyone has all this tension on the, in this upper track. Um, and then what we want to do is number two, we want to increase movement. And then number three, we want to then increase the stiffness within those muscles. So let's go ahead and get started. So in order for us to decrease tension, a lot of the buildup has been just kind of just right in this general area. So if you notice, all we can do is we're gonna go ahead and cover your ears like you don't want to hear anything anymore. And then you're gonna go ahead and slide your thumbs and you go right underneath, right in there. Then you're gonna go ahead and have those hands come off. From that position, from that position, what we're gonna be able to do is we're just gonna go and press. And press, remember, we want to decrease that tension right in there. Cool, how's that feeling? You okay with that? From that feeling, we're going to go ahead and have, we're going to apply some. So once you start digging in, it's going to give you about 15, 20 seconds, even dig in even more. As you begin to do that, you're going to go ahead and start doing some circles. And then you can go the opposite way. 
How's that feeling? We're doing okay. Remember, for everyone, it's going to be different. So if you're not feeling that, you can just go ahead and slide down. Okay, go slide down. There we go. You just kind of feel that area. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do some pull apart. So you're just going to go ahead and start going to go, go ahead and go all the way towards the center. And then you're going to pull that apart right there. How's that feeling? Go, you've been there? So let's go ahead and do two more. There we go. And again. So right when we get to those pull aparts, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of a little bit of movement in there. So go back to that beginning, and we're going to go ahead and yep, and pull apart, and then go ahead and tilt your head back. There we go. Go back all the way in. Go back all the way in here. Put your there we go, and pull apart. That's it. All right. Now, if one side's really bothering you, all we're going to do is going to put one hand down. We're going to go ahead and put that pressure in. And as we begin to do that pull apart, we're going to go and look towards that way. That's it. And pull apart and go back to the center. Finger goes back in. And then go ahead and do that again. All right. Now, if that's not getting it, guess what? We can just go and do pull apart again and now look towards my way. There we go. You feeling okay with those? All right. Now that we've, that's a good way to decrease that tension all within there. Now we've got to increase movement. So we're just going to go ahead and come from this side. And then we're going to go ahead and make like that little play gun right in here. We're going to put that right underneath the chest. Thumb goes up. And all we're going to do is from this position, we're going to go ahead and do a chin tuck. So all that means is just from this position, you're going to a chin tuck back. Remember, it's just right on this plane. And then go ahead and come on forward. And go ahead and come on back. And go ahead and come on forward. And one more time for me. And come on forward. And again. So this is really, really good. We can Remember, we can go ahead and go back and hold that position. And then... Come on back. All right, so let's go and face that way. So now that we went forward and backwards, what we need to do is we need to go be able to go left and right. So from this position, all we want to be able to do is you can get just two fingers. You're going to put it on the bottom of your shin. On this end, we're going to go ahead and rotate that way. Remember, this is non-aggressive in any means. You could also take a towel, kind of pull it over the top. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Going to go, go to the opposite side, using the other hand, and push. All right, so now that we go sideways, now we got to go. Now we got to go side bending. So all we're going to do, remember, this is very non-aggressive. We get a lot of times people like to jerk their head. So just two finger pressure. We're looking right at the object on the wall. Go ahead and pull right over the top, and then go ahead and switch. How's that feeling? All right, now, so one thing, so we went forward and backwards. Now we got to go up and down. So we don't recommend anything going this way, but what we like to do is we like to actually go into that extension. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get those two fingers. Now put it in the back of that base of that skull, a little bit lower, right in there. And all we're going to do is go ahead and press, and then we're going to look all the way up. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Open up that chest, open up that chest. All right, go back to the center, and then again. Open up that chest. How's that feel? Remember, you're trying to drive those fingers up. If you, don't, if you don't feel that so much, you can just use a towel, right? And you can even clasp your hand, fingers in the back if you want, and pull. Now, so we showed you how to decrease tension, increase a little bit of that movement. Now we have to increase stiffness. Let's go ahead and go in front of you. So what we want to be able to do is just go do that chin tuck. So we have all those motions that we need to go. Remember, we have to go forward, backwards. We need to go uh, rotation, left and right, and then we have to side bend. So we're just going to show you how to do those. Uh, go ahead and thumbs gonna, uh, palms going to be up. You're going to do that chin tuck first, and then we're just going to slightly push, right? Remember, so this is an isometric exercise. All we're going to do is meet the resistance. We're going to hold for about five seconds. Three, two, one, and then you can go ahead and go on the right side. Remember, chin tuck first, and back, chin tuck. There we go, and push. And let's go to the opposite side. And relax. Remember, we're not applying too much pressure. Go ahead, and, uh, go, go ahead behind the neck and chin tuck and push back. And then go ahead and come on down. So remember, we went forward, back, and we went through, uh, sub, uh, side, uh, sideways. Now we got to go with the rotation. So again, all we're going to do is right hand will go over the top of the left on this floor, portion right in there. And then we're just going to try to go ahead and rotate left. There we go. Hold, three, two, one, and then go ahead and do the opposite side. Remember, chin up, chin up, chest up, chin up, and go ahead and rotate. 
and then go ahead and relax. Right, so just as a reminder, guys, this is for non-diagnosed cervical or neck pain. A lot of this time, this can kind of uh, get out all the little bit of that dull, achy pain, especially if you've been experiencing some stiff neck. Again, three major steps. Let's decrease tension. You need to improve your movement or increase the movement. And then obviously, the last one is just to increase the stiffness within this so you can kind of get those muscles to be activated again. Thank you for joining us. Again, my name is Ryan Klaus from Custom Fitness, licensed physical therapist. Thank you, Custom Fitness, for that at-home workout. And don't go away. We have trend spotting still to come. When we face an uncertain path, when we struggle with life's challenges, and when the unexpected happens, it's a beautiful day. We rely on the people we trust. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a beautiful Who we can always count on. And the ones who give us the most care throughout the years. Rely on Calvo's Select Care. To give you the comfort and security you need. It's a beautiful day. Wherever you are, Calvo Select Care, health care that's always there for you. Guam's Auto Appearance Specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's Auto Appearance Specialist. Over 20 years of experience. Here's the latest episode of Trend Spotting and the topics that got you talking this week. Hoppa Dam, Adriana Cotero, and here's the latest episode of Trend Spotting and the topics that got you talking this week. There is no doubt that COVID-19 has dominated the news again this week, affecting each and every one of our lives. From a top Trump cabinet member's visit to Guam, leading to his resignation to the end of the school year for thousands. Here are some of the stories on this weekend's Trendspotting report. An outbreak of COVID-19 on the USS Theodore Roosevelt late last month was serious enough to prompt the ship captain to sound the alarm and plead to save his crew. The Navy, however, penalized Captain Brett Crozer for his leaked letter to the Pentagon, removing him from manning the 5,000-member carrier. In publicized Pentagon briefings, acting Navy Secretary Thomas Modley chastised Crozer for saying he broke chain of command. But that wasn't enough for the head of the Navy. On Monday, Modley was on Guam slamming the fired captain in a speech to Roosevelt crew members. Quote, if he didn't think that information was going to get out to the public in this information age that we live in, then A, he was too naive or too stupid to be the commanding officer of a ship like this, Modley said. Like Crozer's letter, Modley's speech also was leaked. Feeling the heat from Congress, Modley did an about-face on his comments and apologized. He then resigned two days later. At last count, more than 400 members of the ship tested positive for COVID-19, with at least one hospitalized in the ICU. Another 3,000 have been moved on shore to local hotels and on base while the rest remain on the ship. And here's what you all had to say. While many of us were excited to get out of home isolation this month, Governor Lou Leon Guerrero instead extended the public health emergency until May 5th. That means non-essential businesses remain closed and residents are ordered to stay home. With the extension, the island also saw the end of non-essential purchases at stores like Kmart, which has cornered off merchandise. The governor continues to wait for the legislature to give her restrictions more teeth by possibly enacting a curfew as well as fines for those who continue to defy the order by gathering outside. The order comes as Guam saw a spike in confirmed infections, 17 in one day earlier this week. While we also continue to see numbers in single digits, Dr. Felix Cabrera of the Governor's Physicians Group warned we cannot let our guard down as we see better projections and lower positive numbers. Quote, just because there's a few cases that came up positive from the day before, 
or what have you, that's because we did good stuff two weeks ago. And when you see a spike up in cases, that's probably because we relaxed two weeks ago, he said. It's all the more reason everyone should remain extremely vigilant by practicing social distancing, washing your hands, masking up, and staying home. Speaking of staying home, school is out for summer. That's at least for the Guam Department of Education students who got the word from Superintendent John Fernandez. The Guam Education Policy Board is expected to make decisions on grading for students as well as easing graduation requirements. For those seniors this year, there likely won't be a physical ceremony, Fernandez said. A relief for many struggling from unemployment or shortened hours due to COVID-19. The governor announced she's advancing $11 million in rebates for the island's most vulnerable. Those who filed taxes in 2018 and made less than $10,000 are expected to get checks next week. Using local funds, this is an advance to the federal economic stimulus from the CARES Act, which isn't expected to be ready for several more weeks. Individuals are expected to get $1,200, while married couples will receive $2,400. Also, there's $500 coming for each child 17 and under. We're leaving this week behind with more good news and some lens of some faith through hard times. KUAM Communications has continued to partner with the Archdiocese of Agania to broadcast Mass and services on TV, as well as on social media. Although we cannot gather at our churches or be with our extended families throughout this difficult time, thousands of Guamanians logging on for services each day shows how we continue to share in traditions, just in a different way this year. Those traditions include Solemn Holy Week with Good Friday and, of course, Easter Sunday, a cornerstone of the Christian faith. Happy Easter, everyone. Stay home and don't forget to wash your hands. Thank you for tuning in to Trend Spotting, and thank you for staying connected on all our social media platforms. Again, happy Easter. I'm Adriana Cotero. Be safe. We are open to serve you at Cars Plus Guam. Need a quick service for your vehicle? Visit our express lane at Cars Plus. Done fast, done right. No appointment needed. Our service team is dedicated to helping you get your vehicle in and out of the shop and back on the road quickly and secure. Simply drop off your vehicle at our express lane driveway and one of our service advisors will take care of you. Need a ride? Not to work. We have a shuttle vehicle ready to drop you back home and pick you up when your vehicle is ready. Open Monday to Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Visit us today. We are open to serve you. Right now, there's a lot of unknowns out there. But the one thing that is clear is the importance of your safety, both physically and financially. At First Hawaiian Bank, we are doing everything we can to make things as normal as possible. We've also developed ways to relieve some of the financial challenges you may be facing. We understand it's an uncertain time, but when we stick together, yes, we can get through this. Learn more at fhb.com relief. And before we close out the news tonight, our latest round of birthday shout outs from the Coldstone Creamery Birthday Club. Your weekend birthdays on this Easter weekend go like this, everyone. Happy birthday to Candy. And your birthday shout out says, Happy birthday wishes to my mom, Candy, a beautiful chamarita whose purpose is to care for others, including me. Thank you for being my autism awareness advocate, too, with lots of love and two heart emojis, and wishing you for many more years of celebration from your son, Cohen, and your Guam, Texas and Washington State families. That's a lot of love. Awesome. Xavier and Zade Flores have a, birth have a birthday this weekend, so happy birthday to father and son born on the 11th. Despite what is going on, the whole family wishes you both a happy, blessed day. Love mom and the family. That's super awesome. And on Sunday the 12th, on Easter Sunday, Derek Justin has a birthday, so Derek, we wish you the very best. Josiah Kiogui, happy number 13th birthday, love your family. And Jeremy Joseph Bazadunas, happy birthday and happy Easter to Jeremy from your entire Guam family and from all of us at KUN. Have a blessed Easter. Please, everyone, stay home, wash your hands, tell someone you love them, and let's all be good to each other. Remember, you can be part of the Coldstone Creamery Birthday Club by registering online on KOAM.com. Please make sure to include with your photo your name and birth date. That's all the time we have from all of us here at Guam's News Network. Thanks for watching and have a safe weekend. And we close out with an a cappella performance from soldiers of the 1st 294th Infantry Regiment Guam Army National Guard who wanted to create something nice for their families and friends while they were in a vacant hut in a New Mexico quarantine camp. Enjoy and be safe. Drum be round, wind goes down. Warm breeze, and the soul goes out. I got my mind made up, a 
Please, 